This week on Overtaking Lane, it's Friday. different to the last combo, everything at the bottom end is pretty much the same, the only thing we've changed is um, we've got direct port in it now, the last engines were you know, only running about 12 pound of boost, we're up to about 21 at the moment, and um, yeah, just a little bit, little bit more to tinker with it, because it's all, all different, all different, so um, yeah, it's, it's hard to put on a um, chassis dyno, because you know, it doesn't, doesn't make any, uh, any traction on there, so it's just, it just gives you a false reading, so we've just been out here, and, trying to get, get done what we can with um, the time we've got but it's, it's almost there now so yeah we just um, went out before and done a demo but we put a drive belt <laughs> but um, yeah apart from that it's been, it's been good to be back out there again yeah glad so obviously glad to get out and uh, do some skids again yeah it's been a while since I've had this car out like I think it was back in 2015 and uh, before that I had Muni uh, up and down the road had a break for a little bit but now it's going to be back out again now one of the hot talk about things about this is the livery you've got going on here. Yeah. Um, what's going on with this one? Um, well, Wingman jumped on board. Um, my mate had to fix one of their trucks, uh, gone back a few months, and then I said, oh, me and mate have built this burnout car, and they're hooking out with it. And um, would you be interested in having a look and sponsoring it? And yeah, mate fixed his truck, and then the rest is history. He's jumped on board, and he's been a great sponsor. That's awesome. Good to hear. And uh, what got you into cars in the first place? Oh, I got an older brother, and um, his mates were riding the cars. And I think I went back to Summer Nats 10. I went down there. I can't remember how old I was. But as soon as I went there and watched them, what they were doing, that's it. I just wanted to, wanted to get out there from the young age. And I've been going to Summer Nats nearly every year after, so for the last probably four years. Is that what ignited the passion in burnouts as well? Nah, 
uh, just, um, just, I don't know, it's just hanging out with friends and a bit of a passion. All about the, the friends you make along the way. Yeah. You know, swinging spanners in the garage and, yeah, it's all the little things. Yeah, what was your first car? Ah, uh, first car. I had a mini truck. I started building that when I was about 15 and... And then after that, I sold that at Summonats. I think I was 17. I sold that down there, and then I bought an RX-7. Oh, there you go. And then, um, yeah, after that, I brought this. So I've had this since I was about 18. So this was, was this the first skid car then? Yeah, this is the first skid car. Yeah, yeah. and still got it. Still got it. Still original shell. It's been, uh, it's been through the walls. It's had more hits than Elvis, <laughs> but it's still going. Oh, I, that's I, good. I, I couldn't uh, get rid of it, you know. I, I smashed the back end before, and I just... It's too sentimental. You know, I've had a lot of people work on it, a lot of friends, and a lot of friends that aren't here anymore that have put their time and effort into it. It's just a memory, so whatever I could do had to be done to get this this one back out. I mean, honestly, you couldn't. You definitely couldn't tell that you've ever crashed it, to be honest. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you, if you look closely, there might be a few little bits and pieces, <laughs> but yeah, no, nah, it's still a good car. And uh, any sponsors you want to shout out? Yeah, I'd just like to thank uh, Killer Fabrications, Bio Race Fuel, and uh, East Side Automotive, and uh, Wingman Beer. Thanks for having a chat to us today. No worries, mate. Thank you. Yes.
about James and having a chat to a familiar ute that we've had on the channel before, but it was in the hands of your brother then. Yeah, yeah, so I bought it off my brother maybe in November and uh, came, built motor, turbo 400 and all that, but had a couple of issues, like brakes were seized, box, uh, the gearbox was uh, like worn out, like all the clutches were gone and um, gate was stuck half open, so... Got all, those, got all those little things sorted and then had a bit of fun. Yeah, definitely. So the um, the all the brakes fixed, um, gearbox got rebuilt, and um, we just put a semi pro mod on it, uh, G42 turbo, uh, 50 mil gate, and um, yeah, it goes like a dream now. So you're making also I think I saw seven over 700 horsepower now. Yeah, made 740 and like just under 1,500 newton metres. That's astronomical torque figures. Yeah, it's scary. <laughs> uh, a bit different to drive now than what you were, what you had before? Oh, definitely. Definitely, yeah. yeah. So, um, on the old setup, once we fixed everything, it made 560 yep. and like 1,200 newton metres, but it's a completely different car now. Yeah. So much more fun. Need some bigger tyres or? Um, it's doing all right. There's two 5.5s under there, yep. but definitely thinking of like two nine fives or something yeah because they're about worn out so now how does it stack up to what you, you used to drive the Centura quite a lot so yeah how does it stack up against that oh way faster yeah yeah this had when the gate was stuck half open um just beat the Centura oh, yeah. so yeah so it definitely uh takes a couple of car lengths now oh yeah <laughs> time to run it against the charger <laughs> there you go <laughs> Uh, you got any plans to take it out to the drags and that and get a time? Um, yeah. yeah, I want to run a low 10, yeah. maybe a high 9, but um, just not breaking get used it. To it first. Yeah, just not breaking it is the plan for now. Yeah. Have your fun. Yeah, definitely. No worries. Well, uh, what was your first car as well? Uh, Toyota Supra. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Started off pretty good. Yeah, started off pretty good. NA manual. Yep. Yeah, it's good. I think I don't need to ask where your passion for cars started from because I think everyone should already know where yeah, that started. Yeah, everyone knows that. Yeah, my dad. Uh, <laughs> thanks for having a chat to us today. No, you're right. Thank you. G'day Overtakers, we're here with Liam now and you might have seen this ute before, it, uh, it's undergone some extensive changes now, so what's going on here? Mate, uh, yeah, we've finally got a package that's working great. We've got some bigger wheels, um, my engine builder went through the engine just last week and the transmission guy did the same thing and we've come out here today, fresh start, everything and it's a winner. It's grown great, really happy with it. Now, you were telling me before, of course, last time you came out here, we were in it, and it was over 700. Yeah. That was, was when we went in there, but you've got less correct. power now. Less power now, but it's more usable. Yeah. So, and it just makes the car just react so much better with with being out on the on the road. So, so yeah, um, it's only tiny bit, you know, 70 horsepower is nothing, you know, and when you're talking, I suppose, the numbers we're talking, but um, it's very good, yeah. very usable all the way through the range. Yeah. So, yeah, which well, is Well, you great. took me for a run before, and definitely, it, uh, it definitely hooks up and pulls you into that seat, that's for sure. <laughs> and that's the feeling you want, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, it definitely is, so it's great. Yeah, really good. Oops. So, now, other than the little freshen up, did you change anything under the bonnet, or? Uh, not, well, yes and no, there's a heap of new sensors in there to help the Mtron work everything. Uh, basically, same package as what it was, the G42 with the uh, 1J and the Turbo 400. And it's just been the, the, the latest group of gentlemen that I got together helping me with it, just know what they're doing. You know, and I've just put it together so well, and it's, you can see, well, you were in it, you know yeah. what it's like. And it just works very well, so I'm stoked, very happy. And you've got a bit of rolling launch control now, it helps out with the roll racing. Most definitely, yeah. When you launch, you can launch now. Yeah, you might like track the traction to boot, you know, the big wheels and that, so it's very good. 
Now, is that is that the next ticket on the cards for you? Come out to do the, the big roll race? After today's effort, most definitely. I will not be as bright as what I have been. But even though the, the crowd's obviously going to be different, yeah. the car's going to be a lot be a bigger level, you know. But I'll go out there and be able to have a good time and not just be, you know, thinking, oh, you know, I'm in everyone's road. So yeah. that'll be good. Yeah, so it'll be on the cards very shortly. Very shortly. And that eighth mile, we'll be doing that too next yeah. time you guys are out. So I reckon that'll be a lot, a lot of fun. Now, how big did you go with the tyres? Uh, the back ones are 15 inch yep. by 275 by 60s, and the front ones are 17 by 4.5 inch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so um, they're Mickey Thompson. Uh, street SS's, whatever they are, yep. and that, and they just hang on so well. A bit of warmth in them, and they're excellent. Oh, yeah. Awesome, good yeah, to hear. Very well, happy. Look forward to seeing you out at roll racing, and definitely at the drags. So. Oh, for sure. We have got to give it a go now. Now, yeah. is there anything uh, new next on the cards for it, or are you happy with no, how it is now? No, is the it? way it is now, it is perfect. I'm just want to enjoy it now, yeah. and that's and that's been the whole. I think the whole thing is it, you fix so much stuff all the time, and you just band aids and band aids, and now it's just. Like I said, if it performs like it did today, you know, for a few months, I'll be more than happy. Perfect. Yeah. Well, yeah. we'll uh, let you keep going and enjoying it. Cheers. Thanks Thank you very much, chat. mate. Cheers, eh? So Brad, it's the end of Fridays. Sure is, mate. How are you feeling? Oh, good actually. It was a nice day, even though it's hot. The uh, the breeze is through now, so I'm cooling off. The breeze is nice. The rain stayed away. It's, it's hanging there, but it stayed away so far. We uh we saw some pretty nasty skids out there today. Man, there were some big ones. Mm -hmm. Those blown cars, they are spectacular to watch. Yeah, and it was uh, awesome to see cut sick, cutting sick again. Absolutely. Well, if you guys like the video, make sure you head down below press the join button, you could become a channel sponsor. You don't have to, but you could, uh, or you can just subscribe to the low tier, or just hit the subscribe button, that works as well. Smash the like, hit the notification bell, and drop us a comment for the algorithm. We'll see you in the next one.